Did you know that the same technology we use to make some vaccines to improve our health and insect resistant crops for enhancing food production will also be used to create healthier and better animals, as well as another new way to produce human medicines. And that's just scratching the surface. Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan and welcome to BioBytes. Almost anything containing DNA can be genetically engineered. The term genetic engineering just refers to the addition of new and beneficial traits for an animal through recombinant DNA techniques, which basically means combining segments of DNA from two different sources. Genetic engineering, sometimes referred to as GE, is being used to help develop human pharmaceuticals, healthier crops and foods, and microbes that make cheese and beer. Scientists are now applying these same GE techniques used in crop and medicine production to animals. Through the wonders of scientific research and development, Genetic engineering in animals will someday help make some animals resistant to deadly diseases, allow certain animals to provide a new source of medicines, help different types of animals grow tissues, cells, and organs that may one day be used for human transplant, lessen the harmful environmental impact of certain livestock, increase the nutritional value of some foods by creating leaner meats higher in omega-3 fatty acids, and provide more food to meet the world's growing demand by shortening the time it takes for an animal to grow to full size for food production. As you can see, research with GE animals hopes to serve multiple and varied purposes. But the majority of GE animals currently being researched and developed are for biofarm uses to produce medicines for you and me. The GE animals are used to produce certain hard to replicate pharmaceutical proteins like human blood clotting agents. These proteins are often produced in the animal's milk, eggs, or blood. Currently, some of these proteins can only be obtained from human blood donations or cadavers. The success of such biofarm products could increase the availability of medicines and change the way we treat chronic diseases like hemophilia, arthritis, and malaria. But there is already some good news about a product derived from GE animals. In 2006, the European Commission, and then in 2009, the U.S., approved a compound that is used to prevent blood clots in humans. The protein is made in the milk of GE goats, and the product from this milk will be used to help prevent blood clots in patients with a rare disease. These patients are at high risk of blood clots during medical interventions, such as surgery, and before, during, and after childbirth. Biotech researchers around the world are busy developing an array of new GE animals. Some of the most promising include quick maturing fish, chickens that produce bioform products in their eggs, and even a pig that is called the EnviroPig. This pig, compared to non-GE pigs, emits 30 to 60 percent less of a nutrient that has been determined to reduce water quality in the environment. Consumers also can be confident in the new products being developed from GE animals because the FDA recently laid out the process by which it will regulate these animals. The same guidelines that are currently applied to new animal drugs will be used to evaluate GE animals. This means that when these animals and their products are available commercially, the FDA will have determined that they are safe for humans, for the animals, and for the environment. With a regulatory process in place to approve GE animal products, this new frontier of biotechnology has the promise to create life-saving medicines, provide more plentiful food, and improve the overall health of countless animals. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.